How to get a loan. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. There are times in life when we all need a little extra cash. However, getting a loan needn't be a complete nightmare. We've teamed up with Robert Sinclair from the Association of Finance Brokers and Sasha Hutchinson from This Is Money to guide you through the whole process. Before you start. There are certain criteria you generally need to fulfill in order to get a loan. You need to be a resident in the UK, you need to have a steady income, and you often need a decent credit history. If you've got all that, you need to start thinking about what sort of loan you're going to get. Step one, work out how much you need. You need to know how much you need to borrow and also some idea of how long you want to borrow it over. Don't go crazy and overshoot the amount you need. You'll have difficulty paying it back. At the same time though, be wary of cutting your loan too short. You need to make sure you're getting enough cash. Step two, do some research. Look at who is available in the marketplace for the type of loan that might be most appropriate for you. That can be by going to a bank or building society or surfing on the net to find companies that are out there offering the type of loan you want. If you want the security of going with a recognised bank, shop around on the high street. However, you may get a better deal online. Step three, decide what type of loan you need. Are you going to do this by way of overdraft, fund it through a credit card, do you want to go for an unsecured personal loan, or do you want to go for a secured personal loan, or actually are you in the market for remortgaging? If you're only looking to borrow a small amount, it might be worth looking into borrowing money via a credit card or overdraft. This is often simpler than getting bogged down in a full-on loan. An overdraft can be a sensible way of borrowing money, but it depends purely on the amount of interest that you're going to have to repay. So if the rate of interest that you're being charged on an overdraft is cheaper than on a credit card, then that is the best way for you to borrow that money. But if you can get a cheaper credit card, then that's the most sensible way for you to borrow money. If, however, you're looking for a more sizeable amount of cash, enough to fund a new car, for example, you'll need to look out taking out a loan with one of the many loan providers on the market. For a very large amount, you may need to secure your loan against your house, which means that they can repossess it if you don't keep up with the repayments. Step four, look at the interest rate and APR. Step four is then to look at the interest rates that are available across the marketplace, both in terms of the plain vanilla rate, what fees might be payable, and ultimately look at the APRs in order to make the right decision about the most affordable and cheap loan for you. The interest rate and the annual percentage rate, or APR, are the two figures you need to look at. Don't be fooled by deals that look good to rope you in, only to change into something unmanageable after the honeymoon period is over. APR expresses how much the loan will cost the consumer overall, expressed as an annual percentage of the size of the loan. APR makes it easier to compare lenders and the loan market as a whole. Step five, take a step back. Step five is then stand back when the paperwork arrives and make the decision about, is this right for you? Taking out a loan is a big decision. You're putting yourself in debt, which means you're in somebody else's pocket. Ask yourself if you really need the cash, and if it's a secured loan, ask yourself if it's really worth risking your home over. There's a lot of small print there, but there's some key boxes you need to look at, which is the amount of the loan, the APR, and how much the monthly payments are, and how long it's over. So make sure the documentation reflects the discussions you've had. If you're 100% happy that you've got the best possible deal, and that you can comfortably keep up with the repayments, you're ready to sign on the dotted line. Done.